week the battle was going to be won by the British. So he kept repeating what he wanted his final words to be. Thank God I've done my duty. He kept repeating that uh, sort of every 10 minutes. Now, unluckily for Lord Nelson, just before he did die, he got very, very thirsty. He called for water. He said, drink, drink. He drank his water and promptly died. So his last words were actually drink, drink. And let me tell you, the Royal Navy has been following his advice ever since that day. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. On your right is Harrods Department Store. It's the largest department store in Europe. And they say if you have the money to result of that fisherman's dream, Westminster Abbey, officially known as the Collegiate Church of St. Peter's in Westminster. That's obviously a bit of a mouthful, so the whole world knows it as Westminster Abbey. Hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, well, Harrods is right at the start, and we're yeah, not getting into the end. It's too far off. She's 21 today, I want to treat her. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, that fought in 1908, that's where Sir Winston Churchill got married to his darling Clementine, St. Margaret's Church. Welcome to Parliament Square. So here we go, Tower Bridge. Now, the Tower Bridge, although it looks very, very old, it's actually mid-1890s. Brooklyn Bridge in America is 11 years older than this bridge. But it's been built to look like a medieval castle because it's almost right next door to a medieval castle. And simply, it would, it would look a bit silly to have a modern bridge here. Underneath this bridge, uh, it was the most modern, technologically, te technologically advanced bridge the world has ever seen. I mean, the, the middle were open to allow ships to go through. It was painted red, white and blue this year, uh, last year rather, in honour of Her Majesty the Queen's 60th year on the throne. And we're now at the section of the bridge that opens. Above our heads are two walkways, originally intended for people to walk over when this part of the bridge was open so that you can still uh, get to your business on the other side of the river. For anyone that's looking to get off the bus, stop 29. We just have to go forward around the side of the tower just a bit. So you have about two or three minutes, I'm afraid, to listen to me. So the Tower of London here on our left was built by the last person to successfully invent.